Hello, this is Chef John from foodwishes.com with one pan orchetti pasta with sausage and arugula. That's right, friends, Romans, countrymen, lend me your ear shaped pasta. So, yes, orchetti means ear shaped pasta, and why ear shaped? Because nose shaped pasta is too hard. I mean, how are you going to do the nostrils? But anyway, let me show you this technique for making pasta in one pot. Not only is it fun, it comes out deliciously. So we're going to get started by sautéing some onions in olive oil on medium heat with a little pinch of salt. And usually we just do this step until they're kind of translucent, but we're going to go a little bit past that. I want to try to get a little bit of color on these. And by the way, when choosing a pan or pot for this, you want something that's at least this deep. And I kind of like straight sides versus the rounded sides. And like I said, we're going to sauté that until those onions get a little bit of color on them. So that's getting pretty close right there, but I'm going to give that another minute. And while we wait, let's go ahead and prep our sausage. So I'm going to use a couple links of hot Italian sausage. And of course, we're going to take the casing off, which is so easy. Just slash them and basically peel it off. Of course, you can buy the bulk sausage meat. That works too. So we will unsheathe that sausage meat and we'll go ahead and throw that into the pan. And then we want to brown that sausage, but we want to kind of break it up into nice small pieces while we do. So I'm just going to use the edge of my spatula here. And how far you break that down is up to you. Some people like to leave big chunks. Other people prefer to get it down to little tiny pieces. I go somewhere in the middle. And above and beyond the size of the crumbled meat, you also have a choice of how far you can cook this. If you want, you could stop right here. But I really prefer to give that sausage a nice browning. We'll get a nice fond on the bottom of the pan. And you're going to get a deep, meatier flavor. So I'm going to let mine go a little further. And while we're waiting for that, let's go ahead and measure out our orchetti pasta. And because I'm doing two large or four small portions, I'm going to call for one generous cup. So I get that question quite often. What do you mean by generous teaspoon, generous tablespoon, generous cup? It simply means round it off. And why didn't I just say a cup and a quarter? Because I don't like how that sounds. It doesn't sound as generous. So we're going to measure out one generous cup of pasta. And by now our sausage should be just about there. And I think it is. So you see that? We have some beautiful caramelization. That sausage is nicely browned. And as predicted, I have a very, very flavorful fond building up on the bottom of the pan. And at this point, we can start to cook our pasta. So what we're going to do is we're going to dump in about a cup and a half of broth. Give that a stir. That's going to kind of deglaze the bottom. I'm also going to raise the heat here to medium high. And as soon as that broth comes up to a simmer, we're going to go ahead and dump in our pasta and give it a stir. And then for the next 50 minutes or so, here's what we're going to do. We're simply going to cook that pasta stirring, adding broth or other flavorful liquid when needed until it's done. So a very simple procedure, but one you have to stay around for. Okay, don't walk away. But anyway, you're going to let it cook. You're going to keep stirring. And when that liquid gets reduced and or absorbed by the pasta, we'll simply stir in some more broth and continue the process. And by the way, I'm also playing with the heat. When I dump in the broth, I crank the heat up to high to get it up to temperature. And then when it starts boiling, you can back it down a little, maybe down to medium, and keep cooking and stirring, cooking and stirring. And you're just going to repeat that process until the pasta is tender. So very simple technique, like I said, but it does require one of the most difficult kitchen skills of all time, paying attention. So don't plan on doing anything else for 15 minutes. And by the way, be very careful with salt in this recipe. I recommend using a homemade unsalted chicken broth or stock. Or if you're using it from a carton, make sure you get a very high quality, low sodium version. Because as you reduce this broth, it's going to really intensify the salt, okay? So be careful. And depending on the pasta you use, you do want to watch out for pieces sticking together. So if you do see that, try to separate them. Orchetti is definitely one that will do that because they kind of fit into each other. If you're using something like elbow macaroni or ditalini, something like that, you're not going to have a problem. But anyway, just something to be aware of. And right about here, I was about 10 or 11 minutes in, which is basically the cooking time on the package. And I gave it a taste, but it still was pretty firm, still had that raw taste to it. So I'm going to let that go a little longer. And this is sort of similar to risotto in that when you get closer to the end of the cooking process, you don't need to add as much liquid. So nothing too complicated, just keep adding broth, keep stirring, and keep testing. And right about here, I determined mine was just about perfect, maybe a minute away. And at that point, we can go and grab our greens. And you can use so many things in this. The Italian broccoli, rapini, is a very popular choice. But I'm going to use this, arugula, real full-grown adult arugula. Not that wimpy baby jet wash stuff. And it is quite different. It's bigger, it's unruly, it's more bitter, and usually very dirty. I call it the Courtney Love of greens. So we're going to wash that super thoroughly. And then before we toss it in, I like to give it a rough cut with the cleaver. Just give it the old choppa choppa. Not too small. And at that point, assuming our pasta is ready, we're going to go ahead and toss that in, stir that in. 
And right about here, you're going to be thinking, Chef John, that's way too much. You've tricked me into making a warm salad. How dare you? But don't worry, just keep stirring. That's all going to wilt beautifully. And in just a minute, you're going to be looking at one gorgeous panna pasta. And that is pretty much ready, except for the very obvious, obvious step of tasting for seasoning. And because of the salt in the sausage, plus the salt in the stock that was reduced, this was perfectly seasoned for me. So I was all set, but you're going to check. You, of course, are the mork of your fork, all right? And we'll go ahead and plate that up in a warm bowl, of course, or a cold bowl if you're only going through the motions. And then as custom would dictate, we will dust the top with some Parmigiano Reggiano, also known as the super expensive imported Parmesan cheese. And that Orchetti pasta with sausage and arugula is done. And forget about technique, forget about just using one pot. None of that would even matter if this wasn't absolutely completely delicious, which it is. So the two big benefits here, one, instead of the pasta absorbing just plain salted water, it's actually absorbing all those juices and flavors from the sausage and onion mixture. So that's kind of a big deal. But also the starch from the outside of the pasta sort of forms this really nice sauce, almost like a gravy, which really does give this a very interesting texture and something much different than you would have gotten boiling that pasta, draining it and dumping in this at the end, like we would with a traditional pasta recipe. But anyway, I really appreciate you listening to this great ear-shaped pasta technique and hope you give this a try soon. So head over to foodwishes.com for all the ingredient amounts and more info as usual. And as always, enjoy.